Trinidad and Tobago held a tired-looking Japan to a nil-nil draw during an uninspiring friendly at Toyota Stadium in Aichi on Wednesday. But the result was ideal tonic for the Warriors, who are heading off to the Gold Cup in the United States, feeling good about themselves after such a demanding contest. Coach Dennis Lawrence couldn't hide his delight in the team's resilient performance. Obviously, we had to dig deep because we played an exceptional team in Japan. They moved the ball well. Um, they try and get the ball in wide areas, create the width, and get a lot of crosses in, which we expected, and we had to defend. On the other side, I was really, really proud of my boys tonight because it was a long journey to get here. Um, the boys did us proud, and it's exactly the type of test that we needed going into a competition like the Gold Cup. Lawrence also felt his lads could have nipped it in the end, having forced Japan goalkeeper Daniel Schmidt into a few smart saves. Japan too had their moments near the end as the tourists started to tire, but some fine goalkeeping from TNT custodian ensured the goalless result for TNT against an opponent ranked 67 places above them. Definitely that was one of the issues that we had. Apart from that, we've also got a situation in, in our home country that the league is not active. So a lot of the players have not played competitive football for a long period of time now. So coming here tonight, the long journey, the intensity of the game, very big pitch, um, they suffered a bit. But that's exactly what they needed. And the news gets better for TNT as Kevin Molino returned to his scoring ways as he notched his first MLS goal in over a year, albeit in a losing effort for his club, Minnesota United. Minnesota were trailing 2-1 when the carnage born Molino was a 69th-minute substitute, and eight minutes after his entry, he rewarded his coach, Adrian Heath. Fellow substitute Abu Danladi drilled a low cross to the back post where Molino controlled and smashed a close-range rocket past Jamaican custodian Andre Blake in goal for the, for the Philadelphia Union. The goal was the first for Molino, who missed all of last season with a knee ligament injury that required surgery and intense rehabilitation. He's hoping his return to scoring goals will increase his playing time with Minnesota as well as with the national team in the upcoming Gold Cup.